Okay, so this video is about worrying, and I'm on Venice Beach right now. I don't know what's happening here. Uh, the cops are there. Um, so I train here in Los Angeles, January, April, and September. Sun is setting, so I have to hurry up. Uh, worrying. Cognitive behavioral therapists have a really cool tool that I think is amazing, but a little incomplete. Um, I was actually taught this exercise when I was in therapy myself. Um, long time ago, kind of lost my way, mental illness, stuff like that. Anyway, I would be worrying all day long, all night long, couldn't sleep, all that stuff. And so my therapist said, you're gonna institute a worry, I forgot if it was 10 or 15 minutes, but you're gonna institute a worry 10 or 15 minutes. So I would spe pick a specific time in the day where I would like sit down and do nothing else, not, not, not doing additions, not doing anything, and I would be worrying my ass off like a champion uh, total winner at wearying for 10-15 minutes straight right then the rule was the rest of the day I wasn't allowed to keep worrying so if I would start worrying they'll be like no tomorrow is my worry 10-15 minutes and it so was a little tedious I have to say but I did do it um, and I found it really working because I was like yeah I'm not gonna worry about this right now I'll be worrying about this tomorrow you know let's shelf this and distraction is really great for me. Like, so I would start worrying. This is for my worry 10 to 15 minutes tomorrow morning. I'm gonna distract myself by doing something, whatever. Read, uh, watch TV, whatever it is, okay? So, um, to NLP it up, it needs a little bit more. To actually have it light up the neural pathways, to actually come up with better solutions, is that, you can do your worry 10 to 15 minutes. You can also make it, I personally do two minutes now, but uh, worry for two minutes. And then I go, well, how realistic is this? You know, Is this really reality tested really going to happen? Yes or no? Do I really have something to worry about? That's the first question that I ask myself. What specifically is it that I'm worried about? And is this likely to happen? Yes, no. Um, and then I, I watch a movie of an action with the me doing an action. So I see myself from a non-emotional point of view as an observer, and I see myself solving this problem. Now, sometimes it's letting go. Yeah, sometimes it is breathe through it, but to take an action to prevent this from happening, to, um, to, to, to go into another direction, and I only have to do this if it's really not going to happen because I already did my reality testing here too, okay? And so I'm actually seeing myself do an action. And at the end of it, when I have resolved it, this, this thing that I was worrying about, I float my awareness into myself so I can see what I would see, hear what I would hear, and feel what I would feel. And I find that emotion in my body and I light that up, I augment it, I make the image larger, larger the sound larger, so it kind of, I'm, I'm, I'm sort of like surrounded by the positive impact of solving this. And that positive emotion propels you out of the, the, the stress and the anxiety and the fear that worry brings. It's another opposite emotion. And the, and the watching the movie to come with the solution is really about if this were to happen, then no, what will you do? And so the whole technique that I do myself, I, I designed to work for me to not start endlessly worrying, if that makes sense at all. So steal that technique for yourself, for your clients, it truly works. See you around.